i e g alpha beta e to the power 4 p square plus i epsilon by c p square plus order e6 and this let me write down in terms of the diagrams so alpha beta and k and this gives me So, alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and here, uh, p square, which at 3 times p0 square, where p equal to 0 into 1 minus 1 half, e g square in case uh, at any point of time if you are interested uh, these things my original source book is Mendel and Saw and in fact it's supposed to be the masterpiece book uh, almost everybody learns it from there so you can check in case you like to go into some details because you would not need right now this but uh, this relation is important in the sense that here you relate the physical charge of an electron with the bare charge of an electron. You can, you can, you can invert it like this if you like. E0 square would be 1 by Z3 E0 square, right? So, uh, and so this is the non renormalized propagator of the photon which is here uh, usually those people who are experts in this game they don't even write all these details they just write this going to this plus this my plus is missing i'm sorry but without this plus it would not be meaningful okay so this plus this this together is the renormalized thing this plus this is the renormalized thing so this is the propagator of the renormalized propagator of a photon so this is again a physically physical thing and this thing corresponds to the bare bare photon okay this thing corresponds to the bare photon whereas this corresponds to the physically interacting photon which has already said hello by to the others so okay and uh, let me write one more for the sake of completion which without this uh, could i remove all this yes and Actually, by now, these things are very accurately understood in all the three theories, QED, QCD, electroweak theories, uh, except the last one. Here, a lot of efforts have gone in in the last two, three decades where people, brave souls, have tried to construct the, the quantum theory of gravity in different ways. Existing theory is now uh, fairly more popular that we know but before that prior to this people have done lots of efforts people have tried uh, supergravity theories for example they were they were in that direction so supergravity theory you also uh, i will come back to supersymmetry in a, in a while uh, so uh, before i forget uh, let me let me mention this last one also so let me first draw the diagram Here, iota e gamma mu is sitting. Uh, this has to be e0, uh, and then uh, plus. So 
Alta y gamma mu and alta e this will be let us say gamma beta alta e gamma alpha you see so this this these things they get integrated out gamma alpha and gamma beta they get summed up okay only those things survive that are on the left hand side these indices like mu and so on except the charges and the masses which then they get renormalized and they appear in terms of finite values which are measurable values in the laboratory. So, iota e0 gamma mu goes to gamma mu p prime p, they are the, they are the uh, moment charge of the outgoing uh, and incoming and outgoing uh, electrons. So this is then equal to iota e0 gamma mu times 1 plus e0 square l plus e0 square lambda c mu this and this is iota e0 iota e no, no longer e0 times gamma mu plus e square lambda mu c p prime p plus order e to be 5 e e to the power 5 but here it's 1 odd odd and 1 2 3 so it's like this and here e gets related to e0 by z1 so if you combine the three this is e0 the square root of z3 z2 by z1 some bar identities and then they give you e0 z3 so you see in these expressions like in the last one we have seen this uh, capital lambda mu c this is a regularized function you see so when we make the calculations we before doing renormalization one also has to do regularization so you introduce cutoff parameters like one is small lambda one capital lambda ultraviolet and infrared cutoff parameters and they have to be taken care of after you have taken the limits and when you take the limit one of these parameters goes to zero one of them goes to infinite these are so that your original qed theory is restored and it is after that so i have skipped all those details but i think reasonably well we have we have uh, uh, arrived at these conclusions and the and the uh, QFT, that is the original source okay so you can always look back at the original source uh, and and so for further details but the conclusion remains that on the left hand side which is non renormalized object we have some charges and masses which are bare charges and bare masses of these particles and they involve infinities in the renormalization procedure this plus this and i must close this bracket if i happen to have one on that side this plus this produces a, a physically acceptable object so this look just look at the last step here I have just mentioned the result if you will look into that book in the very first I had some object called capital B here I had some object called capital L in some bar identities B can be proved equal to L but you don't need to go into that you here you just look at this that the right hand side involves this physical charge of the electron so this right hand side represents the physical electron 
लेफ्ट हैंड साइड रिप्रेजेंट अनफिजिकल इलेक्ट्रॉन यू सी लेफ्ट हैंड साइड रिप्रेजेंटेड अनफिजिकल फोटोन राइट हैंड साइड रिप्रेजेंटेड फिजिकल फोटोन इन द केस इन द मिडिल केस वेर वी हैड फोटोन सैम्पल एट दाइग्राम सो आई थिंक वी कैन नाउ सॉर्ट ऑफ जस्ट टेकिंग द कंक्लूजन्स आउट ऑफ ऑल दिस वी कैन प्रोसीड फर्दर सो आई बिकॉज लास्ट टाइम एंड लास्ट ईयर ऑल्सो we have somehow skipped all these details for the lack of time so uh, i think we it was it, i thought i could take this opportunity to 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 some of these things usually uh, these details only one uh, i mean uh, reviews on gravity theory reviews on string theory they somehow skip these details so i thought i let me do little bit more than the usual usual review articles okay all right so uh okay now we have uh, i would add uh, we are very uh, fast now approaching towards our uh, our uh, string theory thing and uh, one point somehow which Uh, let me let me just recap it. Uh, you see, we are able to do this renormalization successfully for three theories: QED, QCD, electrode theories. And we are not able to do many Brave souls have tried, but we are not able to produce 